In honor of my first book being released, Live, Learn, Love Well, I'm excited to be throwing out the first pitch at the Boston Red Sox game this Saturday at 4.10 p.m. against the Cardinals at Fenway. And as a Massachusetts native, this is a huge deal. And yes, I know I'm a fitness instructor and I've played many sports, but I will say that I have not thrown a baseball in a very long time. So to make sure I don't completely embarrass myself, I have called in a friend to give me some pointers. Hall of Famer, three-time Cy Young winner, Turner and MLB network broadcaster, and of course, beloved Red Sox pitcher and 2004 World Series champ, Pedro Martinez is here in the virtual flesh. Well, thank you. It's, a, it's an honor to be once again with you and my lovely fan base, Boston. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for doing this. So as you know, I'm throwing the first pitch at the Red Sox game on Saturday, and I am an athlete, although I have not thrown a baseball in a very <laughs> long time. And I'm hoping that you can give me some pointers so that I don't completely embarrass myself. <laughs> well, first of all, I must say to you, anytime you step in Fenway Park, it's all about having fun and enjoying the moment. So right. whatever tip I give you, whether it works or not, just make sure you go out there, you relax, you enjoy Fenway, you get the great opportunity to exchange with the fans and, uh, see the players up close and personal, even though Boston is the only place that I think is uh, it's a place where you can actually hear the players breathe. I mean, it's that close that you guys are. You guys are that spoiled in Boston. We all are, because sometimes every once in a while I go and watch a game and I, I try to get to the, to the public. And uh, even though it hasn't been easy to, to actually catch a complete game in, in the stands, yeah. And uh, you guys are spoiled to have the players so close and to have such a close personal relationship with the players. So the yeah. first thing I say, if you want to throw the first pitch, is make sure you grip the ball. Okay, so I have a ball and it is actually says Red Sox on it. I found out I was doing the first pitch and I went for a walk and I found this on the side of the road. And it happens yeah. to be a Red Sox ball on the same day that I found out that I was doing it. So I feel like it's a sign. <laughs> It's a sign. It's meant to be. <laughs> but you see see what the Red Sox sign is? Yeah. Just make sure you have this, the two fingers right on top. See that, the rollings on this one? Yeah. You, no, you're going to have it like that. You're going to cover the Red Sox logo. Like this? Yeah, you could do that. You could okay. do that. But okay. Just make sure that the, the, the tip of your fingers are right on top of the Red Sox, right there. Okay. Just like that. You grip it like that and make sure you aim high. So whoever is going to catch the ball, see where you have the B on your hat? Yeah. That's where you want to throw the ball. To okay. whoever is going to catch the ball, that's where you want to really throw the ball to. Okay. To the forehead so that the ball, by the time it lands, lands in the strike zone. Okay. Because you're not, you, you probably won't have like a steady fastball that you're going to throw. So you're going to kind of loop it over. Yeah. So if you aim high, it's going to end up in the strike zone. So okay. It's a bite, but Aim relax, high. relax, make sure that you trick everybody else. You make sure you go into the tunnel and you play catch a little bit so that you can get the feel of the ball leaving your fingers before okay. you go up there. Make sure that they give you at least one minute to throw five, six, maybe ten, so that you don't grip it and bounce it or throw right. it in place. Make don't sure that bounce. at least a minute to do that. You when I'm out there, the they'll give me a minute when I'm out there just to like throw it around. Uh, yeah, you can actually cheat okay. a little bit and and go to the personal and 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 say, I, I can I just throw a couple down there. So okay, I'm out. It looks natural to you. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm about to I'm about to go outside and practice after this, so I uh, I'm gonna take I'm gonna practice. So okay, what about like sh shoulder? Shoulder, you just you just have to make sure that you come around and get it as close to your to your ears as possible. Your arm, your arm as, as it's coming close to your ears, because you're gonna be able to follow it and 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 take it to the catcher, whoever okay. is receiving the ball. Okay. 
So you want you want to go around and bring it right around your ears. Yeah, right over the top. Wow. So as close, as close as possible. So just so that you can keep your eyes behind the ball. Keep okay. your eyes behind the ball. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Right there. Strike. Looks like you have a pretty good form, man. Eh? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I got to go, go outside and, and try this out. Um, well, don't, don't you worry. Just go on and practice. And by the time you get to fame, with you, it's going to be something natural. But more than anything, just go out there, have fun, and enjoy that moment. And uh, see if you can get sneak peek at the, uh, you know, the tunnels, yeah. uh, the dog out. Uh, make sure you enjoy it with whoever you are. Enjoy it. The players are going to be great with you. They they all you know yeah. always do great. So I can't wait. Don't I be do. Intimidated. I have to tell you that I remember 2004 because I was in college in Massachusetts, and I remember after you won, which the Red Sox hadn't won in 86 years, and people I was hiding in my dorm room because people were outside like flipping cars and like going crazy. And I was, I was celebrating inside because it was so, I don't know why we flip cars when we're celebrating, but it was so energetic, so lit. And I remember that so clearly uh, in 2004. So it's, it's really amazing and epic to, to just get to speak to you today. Although I, I was hoping that you were one of those that was grinding the light poles. And <laughs> I, and cars. I saw, <laughs> I saw them. I was taking I, pictures. <laughs> just don't know if you guys understand how how difficult it was for Boston to win it in 86 years. How many times we had our hearts broken, including 03. 03, we lost that game after we had it almost. I was pitching that game. Yeah. And we lost it in, in uh, inning 11, uh, the famous Aaron Boone homer. And for us to be able to come back from an 0-3 and and – actually stick it to the Yankees uh, it was like so gratifying. It was like the sweetest win we could ever get because the way we went down in all three and all the incidents that happened and so many years just taking it from the Yankees was, yeah. was like so gratifying to finally, finally get over them and finally get the World Series. So I whatever you did, whether you did it right or you did it uh, flipping cars or climbing the light poles or the telephone booth. Uh, to me, it would have been great. Boston deserved it. Nobody yep. win it. And, I, and I'm extremely proud of everything, including flipping the cars over. I would, I would suggest that you do whatever craziness you, you intended to do because it was, it was that big for Boston to win it. It was over. huge. There's nothing like a comeback, truly. Like... <laughs> Everybody, I mean, to, and to be a part of that, but also to watch it was like so inspiring. So well, for sure. Was, to me, nothing greater that I could probably achieve in baseball, but to hand out the trophy to the city of Boston. That is my biggest achievement, if not in life, in the sports that I, that I could ever think of. Wow. So I, uh, I want to wish you well. Thank you. <laughs> Have fun, just like I am. Yeah. I'm a lot of fun when I'm not pitching. Even <laughs> though, uh, you go, you're gonna go out there and make a pitch. Yeah, that is not anything like I I would. So okay, uh, go on yeah. and have fun. Always have fun and enjoy. Thank you. It. And I do want to highlight though that you're still very involved in the Boston community through your foundation, Pedro Martinez Foundation, and you recently launched a sports mentorship program for young athletes in Boston and Lawrence, Massachusetts. Um, I have a book that just came out and I'm going to do a, a book signing at Hummingbird Books at Chestnut Hill on Saturday before the game. But is there anything that you think that I should do while I'm in town in Boston this weekend? Well, first of all, don't miss uh, going for a sightseeing of the city. You have to get on the dock. You have to go around the park. You have I've actually to never through. done that. And I, I'm well, from Massachusetts, but I've never done the the duck <laughs> well, just just make sure you have a little time to take a little tour. Uh, great places to eat. Uh, you're never wrong with whatever you want to do in Boston. But more important than anything, enjoy the city of Boston. Enjoy the people while you're signing, interact with the people. While you while, while you you know 
showing your book to people, explain to them, interact, uh, have conversations, uh, because the people in Boston are really special. I'll tell you what, the, the reason I, I, I still um, do things in Boston is because Boston does the same thing with me. Boston supports me. Boston is, is really loyal to me and my, my, my will to work in the community. Uh, and I, I, I want to pay back Boston for everything they do, not only for me, but for the people that I'm trying to help. Uh, yeah. Boston has always been a, a city that's really well educated about uh, bringing opportunities to others. And uh, we actually match uh, you know, the, the thought process. We, we love helping, and, and the city of Boston is the same way. So I'm not afraid when I go out there. I'm confident, and that's what you got to do. Go out there, show them yeah. what you can do, and uh, interact with the people in Boston. They're, they're special, special uh, uh, hometown and, and special people. That's awesome. I mean, it's so clear that you love Boston, and I will let you know that Boston loves you back for so yeah. sure. <laughs> But thank you so much. And I feel a little more equipped for this game on Saturday. Um, but yes, please check out his foundation at pedromartinezfoundation.com and make sure to tune into the game to see how I do. I'll thank be you. watching. I'll okay. be watching. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Pedro.